Sup, it's Hallie. Welcome back to Raiders of Ruin. When we last left off, we were fighting the semi-final boss, I suspect. Like, it's boss chapter 4, I think. The Dark Lady's right after that, but before we go ahead and do that, there was one other thing I wanted to do. You see, I have been holding on to my Idols of Death this entire time, exactly for a scenario like this. Where there was an easy boss that we could reliably beat that was worth a lot of experience. And that, the, um, <laughs> the Lich here fits that description perfectly. So we're going to dunk on this guy and get a ton of experience. Like a ton. I just need to change my classes around a little bit first for optimal destruction of him. So hold on a moment, if you would. First of all, uh, no, we need wizard. We need to turn these guys into wizards. We want two of them to be chronomancers. Do, 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 do. Two chronomancers. Um, I'm gonna keep one of them an omnimancer because we need his light blast. Uh, but the other, the third one, I don't even remember what the arcanist specialty was. Actually, let's just take a look and see. Arcanist, what were, what were you able to do? Oh, you can restore ether a little bit and remove magic ailments. Oh, I didn't know you had you were like the defensive counterpart to the. <laughs> so what's it? The yeah, the chronomancer. I completely forgot. All right, yeah, we'll leave him like that for now. Um, I do want to get the item off of you that kills you immediately, because we need you to not have to worry about that. But what was it? It's storm ability. Oh yeah, it's this one. Get rid, get rid of that. It's not as strong though. It's fine. It's better than being dead at the start of the thing. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't want you to do that. Uh, so just combat with zombieism. I'm not sure I want that either, to be perfectly honest. Like, yeah, we want raw damage out of you, but... Well, then again, are we going to need to be healing you? I don't really think we are. You're probably fine. Uh, there was, like, one other thing. Ah, yes. I want to use the item that boosts your experience. Which one was it? Uh... Do, do, do. Chance to evade attacks. No, no, no. I regen. Experience gains by 50%. Ring of knowledge. Yeah, we're going to be passing that around as necessary, but Alex is like a whole level below everyone else right now. All right, let me just save my shenanigans before we get right into this. Yeah. Combat. Fight him. The idol summons the enemy back from the dead. <laughs> yes! Yes! You embrace the true power of the underworld. Let us dismantle and rebuild each other time and time again until the final victory emerges. Nice. I'm glad he's into it because, man, is he going to have a rough time. He's <laughs> so aura of wrath. Oh, I wanted to give Alex this thing that boosts damage to Sydney for the first turn. That's okay, because you're going to time warp. And then you're going to time warp. And you, uh, we don't really need the force field, I don't think. You can just go ahead and, is the damage going to be greater than what you would have done otherwise? I don't really know. Oh, 7,000, I think that's definitely higher. All right, chain lightning. Okay, oh wow, the Heomancer survived. There are no minions to empower, though, so thank goodness. All right, so now we just, now we just mop the floor with this guy, and we'll be into phase two before, before long. Our magic missiles are kind of intense now. And I imagine they're only going to get more intense. Oh no, please don't bring them all back. Okay, um... I guess I don't need to worry about healing light or anything. Sure, smite a guy. There you go, guy. Should I have chosen better? Do any of these guys have appreciably more health than anyone else? Not really. Uh... Here, blow up the boss. Maybe the rest of them can go with him. Yeah, that's no different than last time. Okay, he goes into his crystal. He's like, whatever, man. Okay, yeah, no, the monsters are still there. Uh, they're not taunting or anything. 
like you, just magic missile the thing, and Sydney can blow them all up. And then we get like 5,000 boosted experience, and it's kind of crazy. I just don't know how many idols to death I have. Like, we've been really stalking them for a long time. But this should be worthwhile. Wow, it survived with 47 health. You think you're so clever, but you're not. Right up. Alright, so that wasn't quite as elegant as I hoped it would be, but still. Doing great. I should give, like, Sid the all the best magic damage we see. Look, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> wow, we got all this stuff again. Once more, the enemy lies defeated. So hold on. I wanna. Let's see. I want you to be doing as much damage as you possibly can, so let me just make sure you have all the best things for damage. I mean, that does boost damage, does it not? Your magic attack, can it go any higher? But clearly it cannot. Unless, Ali has something. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the, that's the biggest boost of that. I think there might be less specialized items that are better for damage here. Yeah, the Ring of Power. Oh no, the Amulet of Power is the best. Okay, that's looking good. Now, where was the thing that uh, gives you boosted damage on the first turn? I don't remember which item that was. Oh, this one boosts damage. Get those students' robes. I don't know what mastery is. Is that the one that boosts your damage? That gives you like double damage on the first turn? Because I mean, man, the necromancer. Oh, that's the one you die. Okay, yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> Something tells me. Yeah, I think mastery is the one. So we want him just doing stupid amounts of damage on the first turn. Insane levels of damage. Uh, we don't want to replace his focus, though. This thing is, is kind of awesome. Sure, it's the daintiest rod in all the land, but wow. You can't argue with those numbers. Look at that stuff. And it doesn't even take his focus. Oh, but the Stygian Wand. <laughs> it's raw damage. It's all I want. Okay, you get the Stygian Wand. I'm kind of not worried about the other guy's equipment or stats, because they're not going to be like getting hit. <laughs> Everything is going down. But then again, the guys do use some things. Eh, whatever. Oh yeah, like, I guess the bombs are good to hold on to. Also, hold on. Is anybody still behind? Looks like Alex caught up pretty effectively there, but... Uh, can I, like, check their experience this way? Oh yeah, we can, we can check it here. Uh, let's see, look, that almost gained them two levels. Oh, my god. Uh, it looks like you are still the furthest behind, Alex. So yeah, you keep you keep the accessory for uh, the, the ring of was it knowledge? Where'd it go? What was the thing? Knowledge. Yeah, you want to keep that for now. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what everybody else has as long as they're like things we can actually use. And the bombs were helpful in that second phase whenever we couldn't quite finish them. So I see no harm in giving them those. Um. Hmm. Not super worried about anything else on that end, really. Let's just give them some decent armor so they don't die. All right. Do do do. Do do do. I'm aware of giving them the staff takes away the focus. Shut up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just take something. Oh, wait. Eh. 
You still need some things. Okay, now that's the one we don't want to give anybody. Don't give anyone the Necromancer's Hood. Yeah, that's all fine. Um, probably. And you. You just want. Well, here, have the Angel Steers. Oh, wait, no, I. I might as well set you up for later, so I don't have to bother doing literally everyone's things. Wait, or was there another for Night of I wanted you to have? Oh, maybe not. I think I was thinking of this. I wanted you to have the Holy Feather. Yeah. Rear Regents. Uh. There's damage reduction. I mean, that's super nice, but. Was there something else that makes you spike and crackling? Well, well, well. I think you're good there. Oh, that was the one I wanted to avoid. The subclass reduction, yeah. Although, for these particular fights, we're not really using them, but in the future we're going to need him to be able to use those things. Yeah, just stick with that then. Warlord's Shield. Is that, is that the best? Or you can be slightly better defensively. But that reduces damage taken by 10%. I really think it's just better. I think it's just plain better. And you need a sword. Wasn't it the... There was something here. Where'd it go? Not this one. Big Bone Club. Looks like dizzy. Reducing damage by 10%. I mean, that's kind of nice, but uh, wasn't there something that protected him from, like, getting stat reductions or something? Where'd that go? Where was the thing you had? Or was it, like, a sword? Execute skill. There are so many things in this game, dude. There's just too many. I could have sworn he had a weapon that, like, stopped his stats from being lowered or something. That was it. The Hammer of Purity. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to just wipe the floor with this guy again and again and again. Here's how we can, like, one round each phase. You know? We lead the floor of Wrath. Time more. That guy is going to do so much damage. So it looks like I didn't give him the thing that boosts his damage right away, so maybe I did something wrong. You survived last time, didn't you? I don't want you to. Don't do that. Yeah, what happened to like the double arrow up thing? That must have been something else. I can't keep track of all this equipment, there's just too much. Ooh, we even got a crit on that guy. Alright. Uh, so we're not going to be one round in anybody, but that's okay. It's still going to be more than enough. Oh, wait, you've got that arcane assault. Should do that. It's stronger. You know, do your prayers all you want, guy. It's not gonna matter. We're only gonna get stronger and stronger. Yeah, this shouldn't take too terribly long. I didn't want to do any grinding in this playthrough, but like... I did want to use the Idols, Idols of Death at some point. This just happens to be the best place too, as far as I can tell. Alright, but was of experience, and that'll make the coming fights a little easier too, so... Let's see if we leveled up again. More necromancy stuff. What's more, the enemy lies defeated. Okay, so do you... Still need that thing I gave you. Why were you so far behind on experience anyway? Like, really? You need 881, 2484. Oh, now you need 4000. And you need 45. Okay, so we'll pass the thing to you, Sydney. Whoopsies. Ring of Knowledge. No. Sydney needs it now. 
Put the damage. Oh, he needs it. We gotta catch people up. For all those times we died. So while we're doing this very grindy activity, I did want to put forward a theory I have, since we're near the end of the game anyway. So, uh, I think we might actually be the bad guys here, because here's the thing. Uh, yeah, the title's Raiders of Ruin and all that, but I, I originally took that to mean, oh, we're like, the raiders and we're going to some ruins to raid them. No, I think we're raiders who bring ruin. Because, like, we had the Shadow Dragon throwing some shade at our uh, patron Saint Artur before, and we, we don't really know what's up with that. But I suspect that maybe <laughs> our intervention here down in the underworld is actually a bad thing. And I also suspect that Artur might be like a secret final boss or something. <laughs> because, like, we have to collect those crowns for him. And then something's going to happen. I intend to beat the game, uh, like, regularly before we do all that little fun side quest stuff and see. It's just curious to me. So why is this guy holding up better this time? Not that he did a whole lot of damage there. Hey, you. Why, why are you surviving? Did I need to hit you with that instead of the Hemomancer? Apparently I did. Duly noted, sir. I think I also didn't use Arcane Assault with Jordan. Whatever, we'll be fine. So yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how things develop. I'm curious if there is going to be a plot twist like that in the end. And although this game doesn't really have that much of a story, I am kind of into it. It's just a l almost a little bit of a shame that it's, like, so far off of the sidelines. It's like, you don't really get any of the story unless you do the Hall of Heroes thing, or was, was it the Hall of the Gods or whatever, I don't remember. I don't remember. We're getting so much experience. How many more Idols of Death do I have, anyway? Let me just see. We have another eight of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, hold on, let me just see. So, are you still the furthest behind? You need 2689. Everybody's 30 right now, yeah? Yeah, we're all keeping up with each other. 26, 27, oh, you need 47. So, Chris is next furthest back. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> ah, crud. That's okay. Chris. Chris, take the thing. You know. That one. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, we <laughs> just spec you for damage again. It's fine. You need power. Anything stronger? No. Wait, wait, what was that? The student's rubs actually boost the power there. That's right. And as long as we don't give you the Necromancer's Hood, you're good. Ah, this was the thing. That's the one that does focus. Okay, now that's good. Any more damage out of here? No. Okay. Take that Archmage's Scepter, unless there's something better. Stygian Wand, yeah. Okay, good. Now we're good. Let's see how much faster this goes. Now we've got him focused. He'll do double damage on the first turn and, like, absolutely wreck. Just absolutely wreck. See, I wouldn't try this on other bosses on this floor, but this one was seriously the easiest. <laughs> like, we have nothing to concern ourselves with here. Not like that stinking dragon. Although I am kind of curious how much damage he would do. <laughs> As he currently is. Like, how much damage would the dragon take from that? How much do you reckon? It would have to be insane. It would just have to. But yeah, we're not messing with that guy. I'm not gonna waste my idols to death on that stinking snake. No, thank you. Yeah, we're 
gonna be here for a hot minute if I have to do this eight times. I guess I could, like, just not put this in the recording, but why would I do that? Out of respect for your time, I guess that would be an argument you could make there. Or maybe bump Sydney a little further up in the order. I don't know. So that we get, like, the big blast faster. Doesn't really matter. We're here to have fun. And just nuke some undead things. Hmm. You know, I think I will spare you, dear viewer. We'll, we'll, we'll call this video here, and I'll come back recording more once I'm done with this nonsense. You don't need to see this.